Hey folks, how's it going? This is Iron Seagull here, back with another mod overview for The Sims 4. So, this is an interesting one, because I was not aware that this was possible with this game. But, you can mod the ceiling texture and make default replacements for them, just like you can with the Create a Sim screen background, or default skins, or eye replacements, and that sort of thing. So, yeah, I randomly found this on Tumblr last night and I was like, oh my god, yes, I must do a video on this because it bothers me so much when I take pictures and then there's that plain white ceiling in the background that's often really distracting for me and does not match with a lot of wallpaper. So while this is not a mod that just allows you to paint any flooring onto the ceiling, it's basically the next best thing. So this is called the Jungle Adventure Ceiling Stuff Pack by Honey Bunny. Installing this does work pretty similarly to a lot of mods that you can download. So there is a zip file that you download and it has a whole bunch of different options in there. And conveniently, it actually does have a picture beside each package file so you know what each one is. So there isn't any confusion there and just choose your favorite one and put that one into your mods folder. You can't put all of them in there. It is like some other mods where you can only choose one flavor and that's it. If you change your mind, then just take the one you don't like anymore out of your mods folder and replace it with the other one. So I'm just showing off each and every one as they appear in game. They are based off of textures from Jungle Adventure, so that's why there are these hieroglyph ones but there are some ones that I think blend into a bigger variety of places. Like, yeah, this Broken Stones one, and this next one, Distressed Ruins, is my favorite of the bunch. I can imagine this one especially fitting in with Houses and Oasis Springs. And yeah, there's the last one, Crackstone Ruins. So I will leave the link in the video description below so you can go download this for yourself. And hopefully there will be more coming in the future, because this is pretty interesting. I think this will help out machinima makers and storytellers especially a whole lot. And that's pretty much it for this video. So thank you very much, Honey Bunny. You did a great job with this. Thank you for sharing this with us. And be sure to subscribe if you want to keep up with my latest content from The Sims, Paralive, Sonic the Hedgehog, and more. So I will talk to you all later, and have a great day. Thanks for watching.